The Quiet Violence of Dreams by K. Silla Diker. Temple. There's no one to blame. It's about me. It's always been about me. I accept that now. But I still find it hard to explain what really happened, what was really going on in my life. There's a part of me that will never be the same again. I feel like I've lost something or got lost in something too big to describe with easy words. So much happened in a short space of time. I don't even know where to begin to look for the answers. So for now, I live with questions. Every day I ask new questions and every day the answer seems more elusive. It is not easy living with questions. There is enough uncertainty in life as it is. The truth is I want to fly. To spread my wings a little and feel warm air form curlicues under my arms as I glide. I want to close my eyes forever and let forever embrace me secretly. I want to be the beloved for a change and not know love as an unreliable friend always making promises. Is that so much to ask for? Look, these are not excuses. I am trying my best to say what happened. I was desperately alone. I was running, barely holding on to my life with my teeth. Life was vicious. It left me no options. Things were ugly. I was drowning in my own life, my own events. I had spells. I lost time. Things just happened, really. I couldn't control myself. And I've been running away ever since. I've searched my mind for a word to describe the terrible feeling left inside. This hollow ugliness that is always with me when I close my eyes. It's too vile.